Hello everyone, my name is the Fox. These are the Veature One XR glasses. Thank you very much to the Veature team for sending these out to me for review. I do have to send these back. They are just uh, evaluation. They're not actual production grade glasses yet. However, I can com comment on where they are right now and it's actually pretty impressive. So I am positive on them in a few niche cases. Uh, I kind of want to talk about those and give my opinion on where I think it really shines and where maybe on some of the marketing stuff that they talked about, I would like to kind of temper some expectations. I do think it works, but it's not something that we can talk about. We'll get into that in a moment. Now, these are labeled as XR glasses. That is an umbrella term that encompasses AR, VR, and MR. Now, I recently put on the Magic Leap lenses as well as the Microsoft HoloLens. Both of those were AR wearables, augmented reality. They are spatially aware of everything around you and try to map or get information from your surroundings to kind of have the display overlay in an intelligent way on your surroundings. That's not what these glasses are. And for what it's worth, the Vitra team isn't even trying to market them as that. What they are trying to market them as, from what I can tell, and how they pitch it to me, especially with just these glasses, is a must-have for the Steam Deck. Now, this is just plug and play. You plug it in and it'll start going. And I'll talk more about that in a moment. But it also works via d uh, devices that have Thunderbolt out as well. Or if you just have USB-C that has DisplayPort out, it'll work there as well. In this particular regard, I got 3D movies working. There's a mode that you can switch to on the glasses itself. You just hold down the button and it switches to uh, side by side. So it's pretty cool, works pretty well. It does require some adjustments, especially on the, the diopter adjustments. And we'll get more into that in a second. I just wanted to kind of touch base on where we were with this so hey everyone a little post edit here i'm going to try to get through this very quickly i took this video down it's supposed to be going live thursday afternoon uh Vitra team emailed me Thursday morning with a list of features and fixes that were coming to the Vitra one. They haven't, the Vitra team has not seen my video at all. So I wanted to take it down and put this in here because it would be kind of crappy of me to put my video out and then list these in like text or something as if the Vitra team saw my video and was responding to my video with this list of fixes and feature updates. That's not the case at all. The Vitra team hasn't seen my preview video. No one has seen my preview video. So I wanted to include this in the video just because it's a little bit more fair for the Vitra team because the list of features and uh, fixes that they are including address a lot of my concerns and criticisms that are happening that are going to happen later on in this preview video. Without further ado, let's get into that really quickly. So number one, the electrochromic films opacity is ranging from 10 to 50 percent now in the in the engineering sample that I have. In the next version, it's going to be five to 80 percent, like they say in Kickstarter. The eye box on mine is seven millimeter. The next version will be going to 11 millimeter. This will have implications on what I say later on my preview video. The optic engine is plastic now. It, in the next version, it's gonna be glass. So for, it has better transparency. It'll be crystal clear, they're saying. For what it's worth, it's already very clear right now. So this is gonna be interesting to see what that's like in the future build. The field of view will be slightly larger in the next version. This makes sense with the larger uh, eye box. The speaker is, is a non-branded one and I, talk about this a little bit i'm not very critical of it because i have f feelings on it like it it's fine sound wise but i like that it doesn't have a lot of sound pollution so again we're gonna have to wait and see what the actual production grade version is going to sound like the button on the temple will be improved easier to press this is another criticism that i levy against it in the preview video again the feature team hasn't seen my video so uh the weight on these are 88 grams because it's all cnc parts it's gonna be 78 grams on the finished version the production one Again, that's going to address the criticisms that I talk about on the build quality of it, which is really unfair. And I say so in my preview video because these are engineering glasses. Uh, and then they talk about the temple tips being changed. Uh, for what it's worth, I found them to be extremely comfortable. They're saying that they're going to be better. I already found them to be fine. And that's pretty much it. Again, I wanted to address this here and take out the video because Vitra hasn't seen my video and it's more fair for them that they told me this list of fixes without seeing my criticisms at all. So them already having the idea of fixing these things tells me that they're on the ball. So um, I'm excited to see what the next version is going to bring. Without further ado, let's get back into the preview video. It's kind of unfair for me to talk about build quality on the Vitra One glasses right now because these are kind of testing glasses. They are not full production grade. I have to send these back. So while I do have some opinions on the actual build quality of this, like here, here on the glasses, it's separating a bit. What they show on their Kickstarter is that these are just evaluation. So I don't feel it's fair for me to talk about the quality of these particular uh, glasses just yet. I think that has to wait until they're actually in production. So we'll talk about that later. 
included in the packages that was sent to me by Veecher was the nose guards themselves. So they included three different ones, which are small, medium, and large. And it kind of just slips out and slips back in pretty easy for me because I am using my glasses uh, underneath. I put the Veecher one on top of my glasses. I actually opted to use the large nose guard. And that allows me to just kind of let it sit right here and have my glasses on top, which is the most comfortable and the most clear for me. So if you have glasses wondering if you can use it, the answer is yes, that's what I do right now. Another feature of these glasses is their diopter adjustments and they're uh, on each eye. So if you have any myopia, you can actually adjust these so that it will match what you need for your eyes. For me, I just have it at their base level, so zero and zero. And for me, that is the most clear. Another thing we should talk about, obviously, is the speakers. They talk about the speakers. They are directionally firing. What I really like about the speakers is they're not sensational. They're not mind-blowing. They're not going to blow you out of the water. What I like about the sound quality is that while it's not fantastic or anything to noteworthy it is clear enough and for external parties people that are going to be around you when you're wearing these glasses it is hard for them to discern some noises so what i would recommend and it is audible to someone that's like two feet away from you if you're blasting at a max volume so i do recommend on whatever device you have to kind of lower the volume you could use earbuds as well but i think for me, if you're thinking about comfort, which is really what we're going to talk about in this in this video in its entirety, because that's where we're going to kind of kind of segue into in this review, is that these glasses provide comfort while gaming. And having something plugged in your ears all the time can get uncomfortable. How I like it and where I think if you have a partner that you're, you know, you're in the bed in the same bed with and they want to watch something or they don't want to watch anything. They just want to go to sleep to silence. This is an avenue for you to actually play something in bed and not disturb the person that's right next to you. So in that regard, they're excellent. But again, you do need to kind of dial down the sound just a little bit because it can be audible two feet away. Another cool feature is the electrochromic lenses. This is actually, you just press a button and similar to photochromic lenses that like the transition lenses. However, instead of using the sun to make the transition lenses go dark, electrochromic lenses in this instance use voltage to shift the transparency, which goes from slightly transparent to opaque. That is in this particular instance, a dark blue in color. You'd use this if you want to try to isolate outside light coming in to better see the inner screens. It's actually a killer feature and it kind of ties into some of the features you might want to use with the feature ones. And we'll get into that in a second. The most important spec here is obviously the display and the quality of them. They claim that they're 1080p 60 FPS. Now, what they say is that it is like a 120 inch screen at 10 feet away. I find that to be kind of vague, like who has 120 inch TV? What I did was I sat down in my uh, kid's desk who has a 27 inch monitor and it was slightly smaller than a 27 inch monitor about two feet away. So really in real life terms, what you should say is that it's like a 25 inch monitor two feet away. It's very comfortable. So imagine a 25 inch monitor, 1080p, 60 FPS, and you get a good idea. The only thing that I would say is that, well, probably because I have my glasses on and how they're a little bit further away, is that I do have a little bit of fringing at the corners. However, most everything is in clear focus. And I'm going to try to replicate what that looks like to me on screen for you to understand what that looks like. But overall, the display clarity and motion is excellent. So that's kind of like the specs of the, the device itself. The one thing that no one I think is really going to kind of pay attention to. And one thing that I think you should pay attention to. Remember, there are no batteries on this device. The batteries are actually in the neck piece. Again, I don't have that, but we can measure how much power these devices take. And it takes around two watts. Now, what that means to you is, let's say on the Steam Deck, you're going to be playing something that you're going to get a lot of battery life out of, which is like dead cells. Dead cells, we're going to be taking around 6.5 watts from the Steam Deck in total system power. And that'll give you a little over six hours of battery life. However, if we were to plug in these glasses into the Steam Deck and play the same game, now instead of taking 6.5 watts total, we're going to be taking 8.5 watts total. And at that, now we're going to be getting slightly under five hours of battery life. At the very extreme end of trying to maximize battery life, you're actually going to be lowering battery life about an hour and change. But at the very high end, like if you're pushing games that require a lot of power, the differences aren't as vast. So to give you an idea, if you were to play a game that was very intense and required the most amount of power out of the Steam Deck, you'd be looking at 1.6 hours just on the six, the Steam Deck alone. So a little bit over one and a half hours. However, if we just plug it into this, now we're only going to be getting slightly under 
like 1.4 hours, so a bit under one and a half hours. So the range here is you're losing about 10, 15 minutes at the most extreme end versus at the most battery saving end, you're going to be losing about an hour. So you will lose up to an hour of battery life at the worst case, at the best case, about 10 to 15 minutes. So that's just for you to get an understanding of the cost of using these devices on a portable device in terms of power usage anticipate between 15 minutes to one hour and change of battery life depending on whatever you're going to be plugging into also depending on the battery battery size the battery size in the win 3 is a 47 watt hour battery the steam deck has a 40 watt hour battery giant device but smaller battery so if you have a larger battery obviously that's going to change and you just need to figure out the math on that accordingly but i'm giving you metrics for the steam deck itself so that's kind of the specs of the glasses themselves and what to expect for my use case what i really enjoy using them on and i'm gonna have to take a quick segue here i made a video called the switch visor which is kind of a joke thing but again I have never been able to play any handheld, despite the size or weight, in any meaningful way that was comfortable while laying down in bed. Not sideways, not with like on my back and holding it up, and not with like laying on my stomach and holding my body up with my uh, elbows. Every one of those situations, in about 10 to 15 minutes, I no longer want to be in that position and stop. With the Vitra One, playing in bed is a fantastic experience and is the like big thing that i would say that you would want to buy these glasses so if you wanted to be in bed with your partner and say you know i'm going to be playing a game and not disturb them these are your answer they are excellent in that regard now there are other use cases that people could anticipate especially what they try to say in marketing now the neckband they actually offer a feature where you can actually see the main display go over into a corner so you can kind of walk around and do stuff I would hesitate to say do not use these while out in public because if you don't aren't aware of your surroundings, uh, it will obscure your view in various ways. The lenses aren't completely transparent, especially if you're blocking them with video and trying to have to focus on things that you're not aware of. I would really not recommend that. What I would say is that if you were going to be like doing chores around the house and like have a YouTube video on on the corner of your thing, yeah, you could do that because you would know your surroundings. And in that regard, you're not going to get in any type of danger. Uh, and it can work and it's serviceable in that. Another use case that is uh, possible is using these displays as a secondary monitor to like a laptop. Uh, and it works reasonably well. Like if you were to turn down the brightness on the monitors themselves and have the electrochromic lenses at their most transparent, you can actually have your eyes focus on your laptop screen and then focus on the inner screen on here as well. And I found I was able to do that relatively easily however i do want to put a caveat here that that isn't the best experience and i i really don't want to say that that's a selling point for me the selling point for these feature ones and something that they are marketing marketing them as pretty much exclusively as gaming lenses and in that regard as a privacy gaming thing they are fantastic they do what they say on the tin they work great in that regard the other use case stuff where you're going to be like walking around and watching video and stuff i would say don't do that in public they do work in front of another computer and you could do it when you're doing chores around the house and watching a youtube video so they have some extended features there as well i think the main thing here is kind of you know blocking out use the electrochromic lenses to block out what's in front of you see the screen clearly and just enjoy what you're playing without disturbing those around you. And it works very well in that regard. So one thing that I haven't touched base on is that you can just hold the button that's right here. And that will convert these glasses into a side-by-side -side 3D mode. So you have a large resolution. And the only thing that I had to do is adjust the diopter a bit on each eye just so that my eye would focus on the side-by-side. -side. But I was able to actually successfully play a 3D movie back on my uh, Win 3. You could also play 3D games that way. But again, because of how it works out, it seems like the viewing area got squished into like a, a smaller area than not. So while it does work, and it is a feature that does work. It is not something that I find to be good in any particular way. I think there are better implementations of 3D displays. It does do it, but I would say don't get these glasses if you're hoping that they do 3D well. Things that I don't like. I don't like the button placement at all. So you have your brightness adjustment here and the power button. When you have them on and you're like trying to 
press them, especially when I have other glasses on. I find that I'm trying to like thumb around for them. I would have preferred if they were back here, um, just because it's, you know, kind of understood where that is. So I think that would have been much better placement in that regard. I don't really like where the button placement is. Uh, using them on a sunny day, going, you shouldn't be walking around with these from, you shouldn't be using these outside in general. On a sunny day, you can't see anything. Like the display is completely washed out. You can't discern anything and you're just obscuring your vision outside. So multiple reasons why you shouldn't be using these outside, doubly so in a, on a sunny day. And again, the other thing that I, I you know, I got to talk talk on again is the build quality of these devices so again you can see that you know how they came to me is like this was already coming off so this is already separating but again if we take a look at the kickstarter roadmap you can see that these are evaluation grade these are not production grade glasses so it is unfair for me to talk about the build quality of these particular glasses at the current moment they are not going to be in production until about november of this year of 2022 so um that is something that i'm making note of here hopefully this gets better later on i'm just kind of just signaling that to you just to kind of say hey i noticed this i just say take this with a grain of salt because that's i shouldn't say that this is going to be what's going to carry forward just what i'm experiencing now just to tell you what's up uh and that's literally the only things i don't like about the glasses now what i do like about the glasses is it 100 percent solves the problem of if you find yourself in an environment where you don't have a screen available to you or you're constantly worried about annoying other people around you or they are want to minimize light or noise around them these will satisfy those requirements and you can comfortably this is 100 percent a fantastic way to play in bed they are extremely light extremely comfortable i can wear these at length for a long time the only thing is that they do take two watts so they will be vampiric in that they are sapping power from the device but at two watts it's not a tremendous amount of power you just have to be kind of aware of that i think if you were to buy the dock that comes with this which is also a battery pack if you can plug into that as well so you wouldn't have to worry about any type of power considerations then you can just kind of not care about that at all and just use these exclusively also you can you know connect other controllers to the steam deck so you don't need to have the steam deck in your hands you can try to have the steam deck on the side this can work for anything so with that dock you can plug in a small form factor computer as well and that would work so these are fantastic fantastic for playing in bed or playing in an, a space that you want to be is to isolate yourself from other people or to annoy people outside they work very well in that regard that is pretty much my take on these XR glasses from Vitra One. Thank you very much to Vitra for sending these out to me again. I have to return these immediately. Um, Vitra stands for a view to the future. So a future. And the future is so bright that I have to wear shades. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you for your time. And thanks for watching.